On this episode of My Swing Evolution, I'm going to discuss the numbering system on the new Hogan irons. And then I'm going to talk about my concept, the squeeze pivot. And finally, I'm going to try out a new product called the Golf Swing Shirt. So stay tuned. guys, so I'm out here today at beautiful Angeles National. This is a Jack Nicklaus design. It's one of my favorites. It's really tough, but I played one of my best rounds of golf ever here. Um, and uh, I'm excited to get out and practice some golf. I haven't had a lot of time to play golf lately. I'm making a show with Mark Burnett. Um, it's really exciting. Uh, I'm learning a lot. Uh, I can't really talk about it um, yet, but soon enough. But at any rate, that's what I do for a living. So uh, I'm gonna be really busy for the next month and then I'm gonna have some time off and be able to really get out on the golf course. But there's a couple things I wanna talk about. I'm really excited about uh, the new Ben Hogan irons coming out. They look a lot like this, actually. This is the classic Apex dual muscle design. Um, you can see that there's like a, a muscle at the bottom and then there's like a second muscle back here um, and they've added a little cut muscle design right here in the middle. So I'm excited to see what they look like up close. But I wanted to take out this old Apex 8 iron and hit it against my modern Mira 8 iron because the lofts are much stronger in the modern clubs. They say that the lofts today are maybe one or two clubs stronger than they were back in Ben Hogan's day. So I think it's cool that they're just putting the lofts on the new Ben Hogan irons. I'd actually suggested that uh, a couple years ago in talking with different folks because, you know, a lot of pros who already hit the ball a mile, they, on top of that, have their clubs bent a couple degrees stronger than normal. So when you see these guys hitting nine irons, you know, in the 160, 170 range, you know, it's a, a little bit misleading. Um, they certainly pure the ball. They absolutely kill it. But when you look in power golf, Mr. Hogan says he plays his eight iron from 130 yards, 135. He does say he can max it out at 150, but my God, he's barely hitting more than a modern pitching wedge, which would be about the same. Um, but you know, and you have to remember that Mr. Hogan was hitting a ball that wasn't juiced up like they are today. So I'm going to be, you know, comparing these two, see what the distances are like. And I'm also going to try out a golf shirt. Um, this is a pretty funny training aid that was sent to me. Uh, it's amusing because, uh, you know, I've been talking recently about keeping the arms tied together and what happens when you allow them to separate. So I'm actually going to use uh, this golf shirt today to have a little bit of fun and see if my theory holds up or if it falls apart. But uh, I appreciate the folks that sent it to me, and I'm sure it's going to be really cool. not hitting it as hard as I can but it seems to fly in the 140s like it's just shy of the well let's see that mark is 146 um, looks like I'm hitting about 140 with a smooth swing um, I'll try and hit it a little bit harder and see if I can max it out for me it looks like I'm hitting this old apex to about 150 max so I'm going to try out my mirror and see how it holds up. All right, so the mirror is a little bit longer. Uh, basically, my smooth swing with a mirror, my three quarter, is about the same distance as my hard swing with the old Apex 2. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty fun experiment.
So I've been fooling around with a concept I call the squeeze pivot. You know, um, I've talked before about having the open hips coming into the ball and then they snap shut. My uh, separated elbow drills that I'm doing is basically the same thing but for my upper body, my shoulders. So what I want to do is get into the ball on my left side before firing my right side and keeping everything open. And then when I squeeze it together, my knees, my hips, my shoulders and elbows, then I get that serious centrifugal force and I have to press down on the club through impact. So that's what I call the squeeze pivot. That's what I've been working on lately. guys it's time check this out the golf swing shirt this is uh, pretty crazy looking this is kind of funny feeling I feel like I've got a pouch or a trunk like an elephant or something but uh, I guess I squeeze my arms through here and <laughs> we're gonna see how this thing works <laughs> kind of funny I can actually hit a golf ball wearing this thing um, I expected it to be extremely constrictive and it's not and I was worried that it might affect my squeeze pivot work that I'm doing um, but it doesn't appear to do that I actually hit some balls remarkably solid with this thing on and I surprised myself so uh, I'm actually <laughs> gonna keep on fooling around with it I do feel a little bit silly out here. Um, there's a lot of really top players out here. There's pros out here. <laughs> but I'm going to keep wearing this thing and uh, see if it helps me at all. 